when you hit rock bottom you can only go up my name is Milka Mudoni Jukuda I am a student nurse at KMTC Thika I am taking diploma in community health nursing Right now, I'm in Gatunyu Dispensary. I'm here for my district experience. Here, my work is to distribute vaccines to other facilities around here. Also, I make sure that vaccines are kept at the right temperature. I also have a business in Juja. I sell chips and bajia. That business, I started in 2019. When Corona hit, we were at home and I had to come up with something to facilitate my needs. We were getting monthly stipend from Equity. Uh, I saved up that money and that is what I used to start that business. District experience is where you're brought to a, a level one hospital. So you're brought closer to the community where you're able to interact with the community, provide basic health care. Yes. After my internship here at Gatunyu, I will move to another facility where I'm going to gain more experience on psychiatry. After that, I will go back to school. Then I can sit for my exam and graduate as a registered nurse. After I become a registered nurse, I will be able to work anywhere in this country. I can work in a hospital like this or in a level 5 hospital or even a referral hospital. After you study for community health nursing, means you get the basic training for being a nurse, you can become a theater nurse, an ICU nurse, a general nurse, a pediatric nurse. You can basically become any kind of nurse. In the year 2020, when COVID hit, I was still a student at KMTC under the Equity Leaders Program. We received news from the school and we were told to go home. Equity followed up on us and they started training us and giving us monthly stipend to cater for our meals. That is when I started saving up the money and I started the business that I'm running right now. I sell fast food, chips, bajia, sausages, smoky. It started as a grocery, but I realized I cannot be able to fetch for groceries while I'm at school. So I decided to start another that won't be that difficult to fetch things to sell. The reason I decided to start a business is besides equity paying for my school fees, they taught me values like entrepreneurship, saving culture. So now I decided instead of eating that money and then come the next day I start <laughs> asking myself where I get money, I decided to invest that money so that I can get my basic needs. Previously, I was a wings to fly student, and then I continued and became a TVET scholar. So we were given the stipend, both the wings to fly and TVET scholars, also the equity leaders program. The first time I interacted with equity is when I did my KCB. I applied for wings to fly scholarship. I got a scholarship to join Form 1, and that is when I joined Kithungori Girls in 2012 and I finished in 2015. I stayed at home for quite some time and then later uh, I decided to go back to school because I had already gotten a child. I have a four-year-old daughter so I decided I'm not good, just going to sit at home. I went to Equity Center. I approached them and told them I want to go back to school. From there I got a sponsorship to join KMTC. That is when I started my first year in 2019. The reason why I went to Equity and not any other office is because I was their student before. They paid for my school fees in high school. So I felt I belong there. They are going to understand me. So I felt if I went and told them my story, they are going to sponsor me. I just wanted to join school and study. I knew they are going to pay for my school fees. I live with my mother who is ailing and also my four-year-old child. So from the money I get from the business is what I use to pay for our bills and then what remains I save up. I'm determined to graduate and after I graduate I will get a good paying job and then I will continue with my business, make it more productive. Also I would like to specialize in theatre nursing. For someone who has lost hope out there, I would like to encourage them, hold on, do not lose hope, life only gets better. Also there is a saying that goes, when you hit rock bottom, you can only go up. So hold on, it is going to get better.